Hello viewers, this is Wagad Ronald taking you through today's tutorial on differentiation 1. And in today's tutorial, we are going to talk about co how to use quotient formula. Now, quotient formula is the formula which helps us to determine the derivatives of quotient of two factors. The word quotient means division. For example, factors in this form 3x plus 4 over x plus 1. Such functions we have to use quotient formula. If it was, for example, the denominator was one term like 3x plus 4 divided by just one term which is x, there we use the formula for polynomials. But splitting the numerator and then use the formula for derivative of polynomial which we already covered in the previous lessons. But now in this case, if it is more than one factor, more than one term in the denominator, it means that we have to use quotient formula. So we shall start by deriving the formula and then see how to use it. Now let y be the quotient of two functions u and v, whereby u is expressing is the function of x and also v is the function of x. So that means that y will be equal to u over v. And if small change in x it produces increments of small change in u in u, and small change in v in v and also small change in y in y it implies that when we increment y by small change in y we shall get this increment u with small change in u we shall get that and also increment v with small change in v to get that so that brings us this x to this line now in this line you have to remember that y is equal to u over v so come and substitute for y to get that line after that we shall now bring the whole of this this side so this side will only remain with small change in y which is this step from this step we have to get the lcm which is this times this which and put it the denominator now for the numerator how do we get it first we have to say the whole of this denominator divided by this you remain with v now v times this numerator will come up with v in brackets u plus small change in u for this term, we shall get it by first saying the whole of this divided by v, you remain with v plus small change in v, and that v plus small change in v multiplied by u, you'll be able to get this expression, which is u in brackets v plus small change in v. Now from there, we shall now open the brackets to get uv plus v small change in u minus uv minus u small change in v. If you look at this carefully, we shall realize that uv minus uv, these two can cancel to become zero. This minus this will give you zero. So remain with v small change in u minus u small change in v. Everything divided by v in brackets v plus small change in v as our small change in y. So from that step, we shall now divide both sides by small change in x. So that brings us to this step small change in y small change in x will be equal to this expression divided by small change in x now when you change this to multiplication you have this becomes a reciprocal which is one over small change in x and from this step to this step what you have done multiply this with this numerator you'll come up with this expression now from that expression you have to split the numerator when you split the numerator this numerator up, we shall get this over this minus this over that as our new numerator, which is that. And the numerator will remain the same, v plus v plus small change in v. Now from there, we have to remember that as small change in x tends to zero, then small change in u, small change in v, and small change in y also approach zero. How, and on the other hand, Small change in y, small change in x will tend to dy dx. Small change in u, small change in x will tend to du dx. And small change in v, small change in x will tend to dv dx. Now when we substitute that, in this expression, we are going to come up with this. So dy dx will be equal to v du dx minus u dv dx over v in brackets v plus 0. Remember now this one approaches zero as we said in this line. And this one approaches du dx. This one approaches dv dx. And this one approaches dy dx. So that's where that statement comes from. Then from there, now this denominator will be v times v to give you v squared. 
and the end we shall come up with our final expression as dy dx being equal to v du dx minus u dv dx everything divided by v squared so this is the quotient formula and there's something you should note v is the denominator of the given expression just as you can see it here v is the denominator and u is the numerator so always remember that while using this formula so we shall use that knowledge to go through the solution to the following problems so problem one they want you to differentiate this function with respect to x i think you can see that this is a quotient so this would be our u and this would be our v so we shall first let y to be equal to x squared over x minus 1 everything raised to the power 3 in this case u will be equal to x squared and v will be equal to this denominator which is that the first step is to differentiate u and v with respect to x so when i differentiate this with respect to x i'm going to get 2x when i differentiate this i remember the concept behind chain rule which is bring down the power which is 3 reduce the power by 1 to give me this multiply by the derivative of the inner bracket now the inner bracket is x minus 1 when i differentiate the inner bracket i will get 1 so it is the same as this times 1 which remains the same after that now that i've got du dx and dv dx i'll have to remember the quotient formula which is dy dx being equal to v du dx minus u dv dx everything divided by v squared now i'm left with substitution so i'll come and substitute v my v is here substitute it there then u dx is here substitute it there u is here substitute it then dv dx is this substitute it over v squared v is here square e to get that now that I've got that, I'll first simplify. This will become 2x in brackets, x minus 3, x minus 1 raised to the power 3, minus 3x squared in brackets, x minus 1 raised to the power 2, over x minus 1 raised to the power 6. So if you look at the numerator, there are some common factors. x is common in both terms, and also x minus 1 is common. Now for x minus 1, this one has this term has the power 3, and this one has the power 2. So what do we do? We pull out the one with the smallest power, which is x minus 1 raised to the power 2. So we shall pull out x minus 1 raised to the power 2 and x, which is common. For this term, we shall get it by dividing the whole of this with the one we pulled out. When we divide 2 minus divided by 1 will give you 2. x divided by x will give you 1. And this divided by this, same base, subtract the power, you will get x minus 1 raised to the power 1. For this term, we divide the whole of that with what we pulled out. 3 divided by 1 will give you 3. x squared divided by x will get x. And this divided by this, the same base and same power, so you'll get 1. So that's how they get the term in bracket. Over the denominator, which is x minus 1 raised to power 6. Now for this, you realize that this and this are common. So you can bring this one down to give you x minus 1 raised to power negative 2. Then for this, we open brackets to get that. After that, we shall simply collect like terms. X, 2x minus 3x, you will get negative x. Then minus 2, which is minus 2 here. Here, remain with x, which is that. Now for this one, it is same base. We have to add the powers to get 6 minus 2. And in the end, we shall come up with our answer as negative x in brackets x plus 2. Everything divided by x minus 1 raised to the power 4. Now in problem 2, you are told to differentiate this expression with respect to x, giving your answer in the simplest form. So you start by letting y be equal to that expression x plus 1 squared, x plus 2, or everything divided by x plus 3 cubed. So in this case, the numerator is the whole of this, which is u, and the denominator is this, which is that, which is v. So you have to first dif differentiate u with respect to x and also differentiate v with respect to x. If I'm to differentiate this, I realize that this is a product of two functions. Therefore, I'll use product formula. Product formula says that you keep this one constant, keep the whole of this constant to give you that, multiply by the derivative of this, which is 1. So it remains x plus 1 squared. 
then plus keep this one constant which is this then differentiate this which is 2 in brackets x plus 1 which gives you the whole of that term now from there you have to realize that x plus 1 is common in both so if I phrase it out in brackets this side it will remain x plus 1 and this side it will remain 2 in brackets x plus 2 which will give you 2x plus 4 which is the term when I collect open brackets and collect like terms this x and this 2 will give me 3x and this 1 and this 4 will give me 5 outside it is x plus 1 which is that so now this is our du dx next I'll have to differentiate v to get dv dx now my v is this so you have to use the concept behind chain rule whereby I have to bring down the power which is 3 reduce the power by 1 to give me x plus 3 raised to the power 2 multiply by the derivative of the inner bracket the inner bracket is x plus 3 the, and this derivative will be 1 so this multiplied by 1 remains the same as 3 in brackets x plus 3 squared so now that I've got du dx and dv dx I can now go ahead to get my dy dx so I have to first code the formula dy dx is equal to v du dx minus u dv dx everything divided by v squared then I'll substitute v so v is here which is x plus 3 cubed which is that then du dx is this so I'll come and multiply by du dx minus u which is this and it is there multiply by dv dx which is this and it is here then everything divided by v squared v was 3 plus x plus 3 raised to the power 3 when you square it, it will become x plus 3 raised to the power 6 now from this step I'll have to realize there are some common factors for example if I look at x plus 1 x plus 1 is here and it's also there then also x plus 3 is in this term and also in that term so I'll have to pull them out now how to get the powers depends on which one has the smallest power for example in this term x plus 1 is raised to the power 1 and this term x plus 1 is raised to the power 2 so I'll take out this one with the smallest power to give me that x plus 1 to power 1 for this term x plus 3 is raised to the power 3 and in this term x plus 3 is raised to the power 2 so you shall take out this with the smallest power to give you x plus 3 raised to the power 2 now what how to get what is in brackets for this term to get it you have to say the whole of this from here up there divided by what you have pulled out when you divide you'll say x plus 3 raised to the power 3 divided by this same base subtract the power you get the power as 1 to give you x plus 3 raised to the power 1 then this cancels the same base same power so you remain with 3x plus 5 which is 3x plus 5 there then for this term you have to divide the whole of this with what you have pulled out so you'll get 3 which is 3 divided by 1 you'll get 3 then x plus 3 raised to the power 2 divided by x plus 3 raised to the power 2 it will cancel same base same power then for this and that the same base so you separate the power you'll get power 1 which is that then this one will div be divided by 1 which will remain as x plus 2 so I've finished to factorize the numerator next will be opening brackets of this box bracket and simplifying for this one when I open these two brackets I'll come up with 3x squared plus 14x plus 15 when I open these two brackets I'll come up with x squared plus 3x plus 2 so in this case this and this when I say 3x squared minus 3x squared will give, it will give me 0 so this term cancels with that then this is 14x minus 9x to give me 5x then this is 15 minus 6 to give me 9 so in the end my answer will be x plus 1 in brackets then another bracket will be 5x plus 9 then everything divided by x plus 3 raised to the power 4 so that's how they can get derivative of quotients 
So now with that knowledge, I believe you can try out the solution to the following problems. So problem one, they are given y, which is that, and they want you to get the first derivative in the simplest form. So you try it out and compare your answer with this. Problem two is that, so you also try it out, compare your answer with this. And problem three, try it out also, compare your answer with that. So that brings us to the end of this lesson. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel, Roa e-learning platform. Thank you.